went into Guam, our company was the hardest hit. We ended up with 21 guys, and six of them were in my squad when we got done out of our company. And so back then the general was a friend of our lieutenant or something because uh, we went into the reserves. Uh, on Iwo Jima, we were reserves. And uh, we were in reserves actually for Tinian and Saipan because we were supposed to hit and then they were having trouble so they uh, t took us and, and we stopped bombing Guam and, and went around in circles out with our ships and then finally we went in. So the Japs knew right where we were going to land and everything they had and they had all their everything set up ready waiting for us. We had uh, we hit on the west side which was a long beach and a big hill and up on the hill was the Japanese general's quarters and you know, overlooking all this and in fact when we had gone back to Guam a, a bunch of us when, for 40 years at reunion and this one guy he was real bad shape but he wanted to go back before he died and, and he says I was a sniper he says you know he says there's two guys up on the hill he says when I got done shooting there's only one <laughs> so he and the general got killed like I think the first day the general the Japanese general got killed so it uh, well, I was on the first first wave in the left flank, which was really why why I think we survived because that left flank, we, we landed on that and was sitting on the beach and, and finally got off the beach and, and got up on the hill and and uh, one of the fellows in front of me got shot so then I walked him back down to the beach and and uh, we we. They decided to take us off this hill and go around, and, and we were on another another hill that was overlooking the Ganya, which is the capital of Guam. And so we sat up there in the, for two weeks probably because they 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 were fighting on the other end of the island, so they wanted to make a big pincher thing and go across the island, which we ended up doing. The next morning when I got up, I heard somebody next to, to us making some noise, so I stood up and got up and was looking. And a grenade went off in my face, and but it was lucky. Usually, when it explodes, it goes up, and, and so the, I was right even with it. And I remember telling the guy, "Am I, am I cut? Am I hurt or anything? What do you mean? What do you mean?" <laughs> but he, I didn't, I didn't get hit with that. But I had headaches for a while from the blast. It was almost a month. Well, and then we stayed there and trained for I Iwo Jima. And so, in fact, we we were. Saipan was where the plane took off with the, with the atomic bomb, and when it went over and dropped and it come back, they painted the bo bottom of it black, and so we'd get to see it take off every so often in Tinian and Saipan. So we seen both runs of, of the bomb. After Guam, the for the invasion of Iwa, we sailed for that, and then we they put us in reserve because they had just hit Okinawa. And they were having trouble in Okinawa, so they didn't know whether to put us in Okinawa or into Guam, into Iwa. And so they finally decided Okinawa was having trouble, so we, we started off, the ship took off for Okinawa. We got about halfway there and they decided, well, go back to Guam. I had enough points, more than enough points to get out. And for some reason, they, they didn't like me too well because coming there, they put me on this Brazilian banana boat that took a month to get there. And then going home, they. They, they put me on a, a little LS, LCI or something or whatever it was, and it was, I think, 30 foot long, and the waves in the ocean were 30, 40 foot long, and they're afraid that we'd get up on a thing and bust in half if we got up on a couple of swells. And so we, we finally got to, to Hawaii, and we, we just put us in the camp there waiting for the ocean to slow down. So it took us damn near a month to get home, too.